So it turns out there's a new leak concerning the new Hogwarts Legacy title being produced by Avalanche and Porky Games. A Redditor that would make Fred and George Weasley proud started digging around the rooted HTML files of the Hogwarts Legacy official website and came around some particularly interesting information. I'll link his original post in the description so you can check it out. And although there aren't any screenshots of the text in his post, he does have instructions on how to find it on your own through the same method as he did. I wasn't able to find it when I looked 12 hours after it was posted, but some early readers of the post on Reddit were able able to confirm by following his steps, so the likelihood of this league being legitimate is reasonably high. But with that out of the way, and all reasonable doubt cast out, <laughs> let's talk about each of these items and what they could mean for us today here on GameGeek. So, what Reddit user Opal Element found was a series of items and references to possible DLC extras that may come as a result of initial or pre-order purchases. Avalanche has already stated that on their FAQ there will be no in-game purchases or microtransactions, but pre-order bonuses don't necessarily fit into those categories, so that FAQ doesn't discredit this leak either. Since there won't be any additional purchase necessary for these items, it looks like Avalanche Studios is still keeping to their word about their policy on purchasable content. But everything he found on the list is as follows. Ancestral Mount, Dark Arts Cosmetic Packs, Dark Arts Battle Arena, Dark Arts Garrison Hat, 72 hours early access to the game, a Kelpie Rogue, a Steel Case, and Floating Ancient Magic Wand with Book whatever that means. The first two items I'll talk about are actually the last two on that list, because they may be a bit different from the others, the steel case and floating ancient magic wand with book. Could you come up with a more generic title? Now, these could easily be in-game items, but specifically with the steel case, there's a good chance they could be real-world physical items. Here's why. In October of 2021, there was a special edition of Back for Blood released, named the Special Steelbook Edition, and contained a protective steel case for the game box. The Skywalker Saga, the new LEGO Star Wars game, Game, included a similar item as a pre-order exclusive with Han Solo locked in Carbonite. Interestingly, both of these games are owned by Warner Brothers Studios, which of course is the parent company of Portkey Games. So, the inclusion of a steel case in the HTML code as a generic name for Steelbook makes this leak not only really cool, but also pretty likely. As a note, both Back for Blood and the Skywalker Saga Steelbox editions were only available through purchases made at Best Buy, so it's likely if this leak is true that this will once again be the case for Hogwarts legacy, pun intended. This is more speculative, but the floating wand and book could also be an exclusive physical item. The reason for this is that it's a bit odd that it's mentioned as a combo, not just floating book, for example. It would be really cool if they had a magnetized floating wand and book as a collector's item though, for sure. My guess is the book part of it will be some kind of stand and the wand will float above it, but we'll have to see when it actually comes out. Okay, now onto the in-game items. The first one is probably the one that I'd be the most excited about, the Thestral Mount. Thestrals are interesting creatures in the Harry Potter universe alone, and are beasts I've actually talked about in another video. The fact that our player character can see them will play into the game's stories and themes without a doubt. However, as for this video, we're just focused on the fact that we can actually ride these things, as several times from the Order of Phoenix onwards, various wizards are seen riding them. It would be interesting if this mount would have any greater benefit than riding a hippogriff. As in canon, Thestrals often flew fast enough that it would be blinding to the witcher wizard who rode them. If riding a Thestral allowed us greater speed while traveling the large open world that Avalanche has promised us, then that alone is worth it in my opinion. Do you think there should be other mounts allowed, like dragons or pegasus? Let me know down in the comments, and also make sure to include your house, wand, and patronus from Pottermore, and share your wizard pride. Back to the leak, after Thestrals there was mention of the Dark Arts cosmetic pack. Now, we see several dark wizards throughout the footage that's been available, and many of them have differing robes and headwear. While it says a singular pack, I hope this includes several different villainous outfits, from the clean-cut look of Rookwood, to the evil skull-faced masks that remind me of Harry Potter's Death Eaters. In a similar vein, there's also mention of a Dark Arts Garrison hat. I'm curious what this will actually look like. The name Garrison hat is interesting as the term Garrison cap is usually associated with military headwear like this. It may be possible that they have a system where clothing and headwear are the two clothing parts and are separate. This is pretty common in ARPG games. We actually get a small glimpse of this in the Hogsmeade reveal, where our character is seen in different outfit combinations, mainly consisting of clothing and hats. So, it's likely these two items are connected, and they're mentioned separately because that's the way that the clothing or armor system works in the game. Now, the next thing, the Dark Arts Battle Arena, I think is probably the single most important reveal in this leak, however. What does a battle arena in the context of the wizarding world even mean? 
2019. We have seen in the State of Play trailer that student dueling will be included in a Hogwarts curriculum, and obviously we will see several unfriendly encounters with enemies, but what could a battle arena actually mean? We know the game is a single player game, so it's highly unlikely it'll be a place where you duel other players, so I think this is likely going to be some sort of training ground. It would make sense that there would be something like that so you could practice and tune your skills and figure out how much damage certain spells do before using them in actual combat. Maybe similar to the training rooms in the Monster Hunter franchise, like in World or Rise, the Dark Arts Battle Arena could be just a custom theme for the room or maybe something much bigger. Having something like a gladiator style survival challenge would be really cool too. That way, you could battle the diverse in-game enemies without having to risk actually dying. But who knows? I think this particular part of the leak holds a lot of potential for the scope of the game when it actually comes out this holiday season. In the leak, there was also mention of what could really only be a digital only or pre order bonus for the game. Obviously, the 72 hour early access isn't likely to be part of the physical copy versions of the game, so it's probably a way to reward the digital version buyers. Why do that? Well, it's because it's a lot cheaper for game companies to sell digital copies. In a lot of ways, it's free compared to the costs associated with making game cases, discs, manuals, etc. So, one way to to encourage people to purchase this way and hedge their actual sales margins is to include some exclusive things like early access. The interesting thing is that the Kelby robe isn't listed with the other cosmetics. This could likely mean it is part of the pre-order or digital only bonus that I'm talking about. But again, we'll just have to see as more information comes out. There's still a lot of things that we don't know about the game, like what makes our character so special and how obtaining our wand in the game will work, which is actually what I talk about in this video. Be sure to check that out, like and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy and other content, and I'll see you in the next one.